Hi, you guys. How's it going? We are so excited to be here and draw with you. Um, my name's Josh. You may have seen me before in some other classes. I'm a designer here at Michael's. But this time, I'm so excited to introduce a special guest named Eden Marie. This is my daughter, Eden, and she's here to draw with me. And um, so a little bit about uh, me. I'm a, I'm a, a designer at, at Michael's. I get to draw for my job. Um, so it's really fun. I get to do that. And then um, Eden has been drawing for a long time as well. And uh, what, what are you especially good at drawing, Eden? What's your favorite thing to draw? Hearts. Tell them, tell them, tell them. What is it? Hearts. Hearts. Eden's really good at drawing hearts. And so today, that's what we're going to do. We're going to draw some special characters using hearts. Um, and so one thing I should have I should have mentioned, though, is the fact that you guys are here. I want to see the chat. Let me make sure I have the chat pulled up. Um, anything you guys want to Could say? You do the Q &A oh, the Q&A. OK, Q&A. So let's see the Q&A. Make sure you have that pulled up right. Oh, here we go. OK, so it's really important to me and Eden for you guys to respond in the Q&A. If there's um, ideas you have, things you want us to draw, um, questions you have, please um, write them in. We want to see them, and it helps us when we're drawing to know what you guys are thinking about, OK? So I'll, I'll make sure that we have that pulled up and really easy to see. Um, does anyone want to put in the Q&A where they're from? Maybe we can get the conversation started. I love these classes because we get to be from all different places. Um, so start start typing in and then maybe also type in if there's a certain shape you like to draw, like Eden likes to draw hearts or a certain character. Um, Eden, what's your favorite kind of animal to draw? Um, unicorn. I knew it. This girl is a, is a pro unicorn drawer. She can draw unicorns really well. And so, um, Put down what you can. Oh, look, awesome. So Texas, that's where we live. That's awesome. Boston. Oh, that's great. I love Boston. That's my favorite vacation I ever took. Good food there. Um, sweet. You guys keep coming in. Lots of Texas people. Cool. The local yokels. Okay. Well, perfect. We'll, 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 you guys keep typing that in the, in the Q&A. Florida. Awesome. And we'll, we'll get started drawing. Okay. So we have some, I think we're excited to show you guys some special drawing materials we're going to use today. So Eden, do you want to show them what we got? Double-sided pencils. Double-sided pencils. Get this, guys. Oh, my goodness. So these are the Cre Creatology colored pencil ones. But look. They have two colors on each pencil. How cool is that? Were you excited to find those, Eden? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So we have those. And then another new favorite of ours are these. You want to show them these ones? Oh, yeah. These are called silky crayons. I never used these before until recently. Um, they look like a marker, but they really are a crayon. And they are so fun to draw with. They, they feel like drawing with lipstick. I wouldn't recommend that. But uh, it kind of feels like that. It's so fun to draw with. So oh, a drawing. OK. So, but let's let's get to it. Let's talk about drawing with hearts and drawing with shapes. So, um, a minute, if you want to make it look down. Oh, horses. Someone, Christian likes to draw horses. That's perfect. We do too. And we're going to draw one today. So you can see our paper. Here's Eden's over here. Here's mine. And we're going to draw together. Um, the first thing that we're going to draw, we're going to draw some shapes. Because um, that's something that's important to think about when you're drawing things is that everything's kind of made up of shapes, huh? So let's practice some. What's the shape you want to draw, Eden? Um, a pentagon. A pentagon. Whoa, that's fancy. Draw, show, show me what a pentagon looks like. Let's see. I think it's a five sides. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, let's see what a pentagon looks like. Something about like that. I think when you come down. Eden looking great. Yeah, it's it makes me think like a house, kind of like a house shape. Awesome. Let's see. I'm gonna draw a circle. I like that shape. That's a fun one to draw. What's another one you want to draw? Um rectangle. Rectangle. Let's do it. Rectangle. 
Hmm. And I'll, I'll pick one. What about a crescent? Ooh. Ooh, crescent's cool. That's kind of like a moon shape. Or if you like bread, it's like a croissant. Those special rolls, crescent shape. What's another shape? You get to pick one more. Um, square. A square. Good. Good. So we got some good shapes here. It almost, I feel like it'd be cool to even turn some of these shapes into characters. Should we pick one? Let's pick one to turn into a character. I know we said hearts mostly for this class, but maybe we pick one to turn into a character. Which one do I want to use? Um, maybe a circle. The circle, yeah. I'm gonna use circle too. And maybe I'll use a different color to draw on top of it. Maybe I'll even use one of these special crayons. Oops, I want to you want, you want to you can use gray. I'll use gray, okay. So what do you want? Do you want um, character you're going to turn it into? Uh, or let me let me give it some uh, idea. Yeah. You know what you're going to do? Are you going to do a new circle on the back? OK, so let's turn our paper over, guys. And if you picked your your shape, we picked our circle. Draw your shape. And then we're going to turn it into something. We're going to see what Eden's going to turn hers into. I'll try to do what she's doing. So we kind of turned our circle in almost an oval. <gasps> oh, my goodness. I think I know where you're going, Eden. Is this what I think it is? Probably. Oh my goodness. What is it, Eden? A dog. A dog. Oh my goodness. So cute. You guys see that? I hope we, go, we kind of maybe went too fast for him. We'll let him take a look at that for a second. But there's our dogs. Cute, cute. I'm gonna give mine a little bow when it's here. And one little hair sticking out. Look at that. Boop. Maybe, maybe mine's a baby. Yours can be more of like a grown up bow. Now look at the way Eden draws Lauren bows. Really good, good. And look at the way Eden draws bows, guys. Do, can you do another bow? Maybe a little bigger right here so I can see. So first you draw a square, right? And then go a little slow. Look, go a little slow. You put little lines out the sides. Just pause for a minute. Pause. So little lines out the sides. Okay, now, can, now do your next step. So connecting them, okay. And then what's that last part you put in there? What are those? They're like the tabs that looks tight. The, so it looks tight. Yeah, they're like the wrinkles, huh? The wrinkles of the bow. I love that, Eden. That's perfect. Oh, you're gonna color it in? Mm -hmm. Nice. I'm telling you guys, these silky crayons, we love them. They're so fun to color with. So let's put these to the side. Good stuff, guys. I'm going to put those over there. Okay. We love it. So anything, I, I, I challenge you guys to look at any of your favorite characters. They all are drawn with shapes. And it's so much fun to take a shape and try to turn it into a character. But hearts are the main ones we want to draw today. And we're going to start with a heart-shaped dog. Um, Jimena, do you want to switch the screen real fast to our faces? We have something special to show. Here, I'll hold these real fast. Okay, can you show them your, your, your bag down there? So check this out, guys. Eden made this in school. And what is it, Eden? It's a dog made out of hearts. A dog made out of hearts. Do you see that? Do you see how there's an upside down heart for the head and two hearts for the ears? And what are these hearts, Eden? Oh, uh, the paws. The paws. Yeah. And what's it holding? A heart. Another heart. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and it's got a heart nose. Did you notice the heart nose, guys? Yeah, I just put a sticker over it. You put a sticker, a heart sticker? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's something I, I think Eden's really good at. Um, we can use lots of stuff for our drawings, huh? Mm -hmm. Like stickers or sometimes you put beads or rocks. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have some, yeah, we have some unicorn stickers over here. Those could probably work. There are yeah. hearts in there, I think. Okay, well, if we get a chance, we, we got some Valentine's heart stickers over here we might use sometime. But anyways, it's so much fun to use different shapes and, and hearts. So we're going to try to think of that dog. I don't think we need to copy it specifically we don't make it exactly the way that eden made it because we can make a new one right but that same kind of idea of using some hearts in some different ways um so that's what we're going to do right now so um and then if you want to switch the screen again let's give it a try i'm going to use i'm going to use the other side i'm going to use the blue side of my pencil and i remember i'm going to start maybe with that upside down heart shape for that 
dog face. And I'm going to make mine a little bit of a tall heart this time. And I think it's really important, guys, if you look at me and Eden's drawings, they're not going to look the same. And is that okay, Eden? Mm -hmm. Yep. And you can attach Yep. You can make yours a little different than ours. I'm kind of outlining mine a little bit. There's my heart. Oh my goodness, you already, okay, spots for the cheeks. Okay, we're on it. Don't wanna forget that. And see, we kind of put them in an upside down triangle shape, didn't we? Two on the top and one on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, what do you wanna add next? Mm -hmm. Should we do uh, maybe, maybe uh, eyes or? Let's do the tongue. The tongue? Oh, let's do the tongue, okay. So this is its mouth, guys. So we're gonna do a tongue. I'm gonna make mine like super long. Whoa. Whoa. I'm gonna add some motion lines around mine to make it look like it's moving. And maybe a little bit of spit. Ew. It put in the chat, does anybody have a dog? Has anyone ever been licked by a dog before? I know I have. We don't have a dog, huh? Yeah. We have kids. <laughs> we have a lot of kids at our house. And so when our kids are older, we'll get a dog. Yeah, I want a cat. A cat? Yeah, I want a cat too. I kind of hate dogs. Oh, you do? Okay, we'll make a cat later. Okay, let's keep going. So we got our tongue, we got our we got our cheeks. Um do let's do the eyes. I'm gonna make my eyes super silly, okay? I'm gonna make my eyes too. Okay, I'm gonna make my eyes a little different. I was really excited for this. I'm gonna put my eyes right on the top of the heart like that <laughs> and then what's going to go there a giant cheek a big nose i'm going to do a big nose oh i like the way eden's doing her eyes look at eden's eyes she's doing special glowing eyes or like with little shines in them oh someone else is saying they only have two dogs but they're getting one more that's awesome and the, oh someone else is talking about their god their dog gives them kisses that's right when dogs kiss, lick us, they're really giving us kisses, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, beautiful eyes, Eden. Nose. A nose. Now, I'm going to make a big nose. And for my nose, I guess I got to remember, we're doing hearts, huh? So let's make it a heart. I'm making mine a big heart. Oh, yours is huge. Yep, big nose dog, big nose dog. And I like how Eden did the shine in her, in her eyes. I'm going to do a shine in my nose. And Eden, what was that special trick you told me about how to do shines? um you can just like draw the shine and then color it in like do a circle like that mm -hmm. right and then just color the rest in i'll use a different I'll, i'm gonna color it in with this color Ooh. whoa oh my goodness i'm telling you aren't these the coolest things to color with okay i did a shine on one side i don't know why there's only like one shine on one side but see look at she did like she said you put the little dot there and you color everything else, and it makes it look like a shine. <laughs> it looks kind of funny now, doesn't it? It looks like it's just one nostril. One nostril. It looks covered up. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, that looks a little better. <laughs> good. That's good. Better. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make this dark color on the eyeballs so they just stand out a little bit more. Nice. I think that's good. And then I'm going to do a hair. I'm going to do some hair on the, on the top of my dog. And where's then, Where's my pencil? Here we go. I'm not going to do any hair. But I'll do my ears. Look at my, I'll, look at my I'll make heart ears. Oh, heart ears. Oh, yeah. Remember to put the hearts in. Um, okay. How will I make? Oh, I know. Let's see. There. Oh, Eden, that's great. I did something similar. I think mine are going down a little more. Yours are kind of more going up, maybe. <laughs> these are these are silly looking dogs. Eden, yours is so sweet. I feel like I want to kiss that dog. Well, well you can. Them. After it's done. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me kiss it when it's done. Hmm. Is there anything else our dogs need? Um, make your body. A body. Should well, we give them a yours, body? yours might not need a body. You you put a body on yours. Maybe you put a body on yours, and I'll put a hat I mean, on mine. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. Fine. I'll put a hat on mine. You want to put a hat on yours? Um, which hat? I'm gonna put like a backwards baseball oh, cap. Oh, I know. Um. That looks, I don't know if that looks like a hat. You guys can tell me if it looks like a hat. Is this fun, you guys? Are you guys drawing with lots of hearts, making your cool dog, making it kind of your own way? Good. I'm, oh, good. You're calling this, this, that you're saying it's fun. Oh, and someone else responded that they're getting a Pomeranian. Have you seen those dogs before, Eden? No. They're so cute. 
Eden, that's a beautiful hat. Does it have feathers in it? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Hats with feathers are so pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh my goodness. This is great. Uh, maybe I'll try a draw body. Maybe I'll see if I can get a maybe little. Maybe just a fat one. <laughs> <laughs> a fat little body. And maybe some paws at the bottom. And I'm going to do a tail. I'm going to do motion lines on the tail. Oh, oh, oh. Let's keep our drawings up. There's drawing. Mine's going to go low. Okay. And I'll do, so when I draw paws, sometimes I do an oval and then I break it up into three little shapes. And I feel like that looks like a paw. Oh my goodness, Eden. We're going to hang these up. Where do you guys, put in the, put in the, um, in the Q&A, where do you guys display your drawings? Do you guys sometimes put your drawings on the fridge? Or Eden, where do we put ours sometimes? Um, in books. In books, yep. We have, a, we have a special book. We keep our drawings. Um, oh, someone said I need a collar. Maybe we do. We both need collars oh, yeah, for our dogs. Yeah, I guess you need collars. Yeah. They'll probably go behind the tongue. Nice. Like on my ears, I left a little bit of white space on the top to make it kind of look like some light is shining down on them. Sometimes I think that looks kind of cool. And I'll do. I'll, I'll do my color with the other. I'll do my collar with the other side of my pencil to orange. make it orange. Because orange is a what's 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 orange and blue? Um, complementary colors. colors. That's right. Eden is such a smarty over here. Complementary colors means that they're opposites and they look so good together. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna color the brim of his hat orange. So there's a little more orange. Whenever you're making a picture, guys, it's always nice to have the colors repeated a couple times. Like, ideally, you don't want one spot with orange. It'd be nice to have like a couple spots with orange and a couple spots with blue and stuff like that. So that's kind of why I did that. Okay, Eden, I think I we should. Mine oh, cute. Oh, Eden, I love that collar. You guys look at these dogs. And I think the thing I love about these dogs, Eden, is I feel like they look like us. Like, I feel like we, we, make, we make drawings that look like the way that we feel. I feel like I made a silly dog and you made a sweet dog. It's so sweet. Okay. I love it, Eden. I love it. Oh, I want to also point out, you guys, that Eden did the eyelashes. That's always what we do when we draw a girl, huh? Mm -hmm. We know that it's a girl by putting the eyelashes in. Oh, so cute. Okay. Okay. Any more, um, any more questions before we move on from the dog, guys? No um, question so the... But Rochelle oh. says that um, all the uh, drawings go on the fridge and walls. And the walls. Oh, perfect. We do that too sometimes, huh? Yeah. We put them on the walls. Oh my goodness. Someone said that dogs are cute and so are cats. That's agreed. That's agreed. Cats are, cats are way available. Okay. Well, let's, let's put our dogs to the side for a second. We'll put those up on our wall or on our fridge. Mm -hmm. And let's and do now a, let's do a unicorn. Our unicorn. We're so excited. No, where's our special book? Oh, here it is. So um, this morning, me and Eden, what were we doing this morning with this? Um, reading it. We were reading it because we're doing her readers for her class. Mm -hmm. What what grade are you in, Eden? What grade what grade in school? Oh, um, kindergarten. Kindergarten, that's right. And she has a very special class. Her class is so fun, huh? Mm -hmm. Yep, and she's a special teacher. What's your teacher's name? Miss Jones. Yeah, she's the best teacher in the world. And we do readers. We read these readers. And this is the reader we're reading this morning. It's called, it's called what's it called? Baby animals. Baby animals. See, she can read so well. And um Let's see. Here's the There's a special page. Oh, here's the yep. Do you want? Can you read that to him? A foal is a baby horse. Yep. A foal is a baby horse. Can you guys see that? And I love this picture. Um, and I love this picture and thought that this would be perfect for us to practice our unicorns. So it kind of gives us some ideas of what shapes to use. Um, I guess an oval for the body. Like an oval for the body. Yeah, I think that's perfect. Let's, let's start. And I guess the thing I like about the, the shapes of, of uh, dogs or horses, it's like there's an oval shape here, but it kind of gets skinnier. You see how it kind of, like, kind of turns into a crescent shape? And then there's like another oval shape right here for where its leg starts. And then same thing here. It's almost like a little bit of a heart shape right here. Um, Look at this, guys. This is the drawing that was on the internet. 
you guys probably saw, this is the unicorn I drew. So do you see how it's a little different because I use hearts, but do you see how I kind of use similar shapes? So yeah, I think let's start that oval. How about on this one, that's actually hearts. Yeah, you can, you can tell me, what, what do you think? I think we should use hearts for the ears. Too. Yeah, I think we should use hearts for the ears too. Let's do it. Okay, well, let's get started. And I think on that one on the internet, I didn't have a whole body, but let's do a whole body. Maybe let's switch our papers to go horizontal. Can we do that? The hamburger style, is that what we call it? And then this way is hot dog. Yeah, hot, that's right, hot dog. Yeah, this is hot dog, this is hamburger. Right, yeah, hamburger. We'll, we'll go hamburger. Yum. Yum, yum. Okay, and I think I need pink. It just feels right. Do we have a couple pinks? Um, you can eat. I'm, I'm gonna stick with the pencil too. I think I like drawing pencil first. No, I'll just do orange. I'll do orange. It's okay. I like sticking with pencil first because then it makes it easier to make a mistake. I'm gonna skew our papers up just a little bit. But it's hard to erase colored pencils then. It is. Regular. Yeah. I, so, I kind of hate the erasing colored pencils. I know. It's it's really rough. I don't like erasing yeah. either. Huh. Okay. But let's see if we can do this. So the first thing. Um, let's just draw an oval. You want to draw an oval first? Oh, man. Oh, mine's kind of big. That's a big old. That's good. Good. Mine's, mine's about, about the same size. We're in the same size. Okay. Um, and then I'm thinking maybe we do like a, like a triangle for the neck. Like that? Like what? Just like this. I'm thinking we go straight on that side and then like at an angle on the other side, kind of like that. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Is that dark enough for you to see? Okay. Yeah, and you can see it okay? And then I'm thinking for, we gotta use some hearts. I think for the head, let's use a heart. We can use a heart? Yeah, but I don't know. Should it be looking at us? Ooh, good question. What do you think? I think, yeah. Looking at us? Let's do it. Okay. That looks kind of silly right now, doesn't it? <laughs> you need the eraser. Yeah, those lines. We'll, we'll deal with it later. Sometimes when I have lines like that, I'll just do a darker line on top and so you can't see them anymore. So let's do it. Then we'll do a nose of our unicorn right as a smaller heart right on top of that heart. And sorry, guys, there's a lot of lines here. So if it gets confusing, we'll fix it later. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? We might even do two. Maybe we'll draw this one, and then we'll do it as a practice, and we can draw the next one. And then the legs. What shape would you use for legs? Do you think? Um, kind of a rectangle shape. I think rectangles. Yep. You guys got that? Okay. Oh, the hooves. Let's not forget the hooves. Good call. Okay. And then what should we draw next? Oh, the hearts on the hooves. I like that. That's pretty. Don't forget the sparkles. The sparkles? Yeah. Oh, okay. the cutie mark. The cutie mark? Yeah. Okay, which one do you want? You want which one do you draw first? Hearts. The hearts? Yeah. Just like all over the body? No. Oh, like the cutie mark hearts. I'm gonna do like a small, medium, and a big heart. Right. Oh, so Eden's doing sparkles. Eden, do you wanna do one of those really big, like over here on the side so you can see how to draw those? Okay, what, what shape do you call that? Diamond. Diamond. I'm gonna draw one too. And I, I'll kind of show you, Eden, and you guys how to draw a cool sparkle that's like a diamond shape. Make a shape like this. Like, you, yeah, do it over here, do it over here, or over there. Some shape like that, kind of like a J, like an upside down candy cane. And then do one next to it like this. And then do the same thing on the bottom. So just go down. And then go down like that. Okay. 
Hmm. Try, try one more time over here. So just like do, it's almost like an A. How about that? Let's just make an A shape, like a capital A. And then do two tails on it. So two little curls like this, curl, curl. And then do a little V, not quite connecting, but um, not, not quite connecting. Like what, look at, look at mine first. A little V like that, that's kind of like just below it. And then just do two tails that connect to the other tails. Yeah, perfect. And these little perfect little um, shines. Let's do a tail. Let's do the tail on our on our um, unicorn right now. And so for the tail, I'm gonna do like an S shape. I'm gonna make mine go up. Oh, up. that's a great idea. I should have. I'm running. I'm running into problems here. Oh, Eden, that's great. Maybe I'm Oh, that's pretty, Eden. That's pretty. Maybe I want to do something like that too. I'm gonna to do some fluffs on the end of mine. They make me think of like hearts or something. Man, we got lots of overlapping lines here with daddies. That's okay. Um, now let's do the ears. You talked about making heart-shaped ears, and that's okay. And Eden, you might run out of space on your paper. You can just use the paper behind it if you want. I do that sometimes. Okay. Oh, yep, the little part inside the ear. And then a unicorn would be a unicorn without a what? Hi. A horn. So I'm gonna draw the horn right here. Nice, Eden. So cute. And then I'm gonna draw the mane. And the mane, I'm gonna make it so pretty. I'm gonna Come down this way. You're gonna go like that. Oh, that's pretty even. And that gives me an idea. I'm gonna do mine going the other way. I'm gonna do mine. This mine's gonna be a little interesting. I've never done a main like this before. Three lines like that. And then I'm gonna connect them like this behind the head of the unicorn. Okay. You can still make yours like that if you want, or you no, or keep keep yours on that side. Maybe the wind's blowing this way with mine, and that way with yours, maybe. And now let's draw the eyes. Okay, how do you want to do the eyes? You show me. Um. um hmm. Like I do. Like the other one. Let's do the shine eyes. So you do an oval, and then you just draw a circle in the top of the oval, and a circle at the bottom of the oval, right? Mm -hmm. And another one with a circle on the top of the oval, circle on the bottom of the oval, and then fill in the middle. That makes it look extra shiny and cute. And then we'll do a nose, which is two dots inside that little heart, like at the tops of that little heart. Yep, just like that. And then a smile. And I think I'm just going to do that kind of, hmm. Let's see, I'm trying to decide. I think just. Do it right there at the bottom of that heart. Mine's small. Oh, cute and <laughs> cute. I love your unicorn. That's great. So now we can, I, I have a lot of lines going on over mine. I'm going to show you guys something. Well, let me see. You guys, what do you think? Do you want me to show you how to draw, how to like trace on top of this and make another unicorn? Or do you have some... Um, animals that you'd like us to draw. You want to put those in the chat if there's some that you want us to draw? Maybe while those are coming, I'll just start doing this. And you know, if you want to start coloring yours, you can call yours. Okay. Can I have a mister? Yes, right here. I don't think this one will work. Is it okay if I like take off a little? Yeah, you can you can you can uh, po po uh, like form into a cone. This is called a kneaded eraser, guys. And they're like Play-Doh. But can, not too thin. Not too thin. Like how that like that work, maybe? Maybe. You can do what you need to do. And for mine, guys, I'm just gonna sometimes if I do a drawing like what we just did, and there's oh, a lot I of think that one. Oh, someone asked. Okay, someone knows a pony on a certain channel. And they're drawing her with her cutie mark. Oh, that's pretty. 
Yeah, we like like we like ponies at our house, huh? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna draw this. I'm actually gonna use one more different tool. Over here, we've got. Sorry, Eden, I'm reaching out to you. We got some markers here too, huh? Yeah. So let's use some of those. Use them to color with. I'm gonna use a darker color. I'm gonna do purple. But so sometimes if I have a drawing, guys, where I feel like I've got a lot of lines going on. I'll put another piece of paper over it. And you guys probably can't see the lines very well, but I can see them here. And then I can kind of trace over them. And then all those lines that you guys saw before. Wait, are you chasing? Oh, I want to do that. I want to chase over them. These markers smell. Wait, what? This one smells like grape. Oh my gosh. These are smell markers. Oh my goodness. I don't want to see one. Oh, this one smells like lotion. Oh my goodness. Awesome. Wow. We hit the jackpot, didn't we? So you're tracing. Wait, okay, wait, before you start with yours, since you got so close to the top of the paper, maybe pull this new paper up so that you have some more room if you want. Okay. So we're just going to draw over our lines. And you can see the lines. They're still there, right, Eden? Yeah. They're kind of soft, but you can still see them. But then, okay. Um... And you, if you don't follow your lines exactly, that's okay. I didn't on mine. I kind of like just kind of made it up a little bit. So sometimes, huh? You know, we see other people's drawings and we're like, how do they draw that so well? My guess is part of it is that they, it wasn't the first time they drew it. Oh, come on. Oh, that's okay. You want a new piece of paper? Yeah. Or are we going to do, are we going to just, Okay, that's okay. Do you want to? Um, oh, now I get it. You draw the. Yeah, just, you draw I'll the nose you. first. Yeah, so draw the. Yeah, the shape that's on the very top. So draw the nose. Yeah, go the nose. Can you see it? It's hard to see, probably. Um. Yeah. I see it. Perfect. And then, yep, yep, cute. Now. Now the, the head shape below it, I mean, yep, right there. Perfect. The horn, yep. Ooh, you did the stripes. I don't know if I did the stripes. That's really good. The eyes. You've got it. You're I doing it. I think this one's what you need to just... Just a full fill-in. I'm going to do a full fill-in, too. Yeah, because I can't really... Let me get the ears in... Oh, okay, yeah. And then, yeah, I like that you peeked back. You can peek back, huh? I'm going to do my stripes like you were stripes. Oh, my gosh, this one's stuck. <laughs> smells like lotion. Oh, my goodness. Um, I changed the mouth on mine because I didn't like the other mouth as much. Yep, I'd say, Eden, I think we talk about this all the time. When I get better at drawing, you just gotta keep drawing over and over again, huh? Mm -hmm. And so I feel like I'm liking this unicorn better than the other one because I'm drawing it again. And I put the hearts on the hooves again. That was such a good idea. Oh, Ian, that's great. Oh, I love that tail. Way to go. Sorry, are they, are they overflowing over there? Yeah. There we, go. there we go. Okay. Oh my gosh, I can't get over how good these markers smell. Mm -hmm. Where's the white or white silky crayon? Maybe you left it back in the bag. Let's see if I got it. Oh. It's okay. You got you want to go grab the bag real fast? Yeah. Maybe just bring it over. You can bring the whole bag. Oh, found it. Oh, perfect. Oh, and I found a really pretty green too. Okay. I'm gonna nice. use this green on my unicorn after I'm gonna try to use the white to make shine on the eyes. Oh, it works! Oh, can I try? Cause yeah. I, Cause I couldn't make mine. It might be a little harder since your light, your pink is a pretty light. It might not show up as much. Oh, it still does. Pretty much. Pretty much. Oh. Cute. Okay, you guys, are you having fun? I know we're taking a long on these unicorns, but it's just really fun for us to draw, huh? Draw two, like, this one. That's a good idea. 
so cute. Okay. Well, let's after this now. I didn't see anyone come in with any um with any uh animals, animals they wanted to draw. So I think should we show them that owl that we were talking about? Um first, I guess, or is there something else? Yeah, what were you thinking? First, I think we should color these. Yeah, me too. I was already starting to color mine. Yeah, I want to color mine. Yeah, excuse, excuse I, I excuse mine up a little bit. Let's see. Oh, this green is so pretty. Oh my goodness. And pink and green, those are like complementary colors too. But they're not completely complementary. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. So Josh, uh, we have a suggestion or a request, um, a butterfly. A butterfly. Oh yeah. That's such yeah. a good idea. And an that's elephant. Such a good idea. And an elephant? Ooh, yeah. that one would be cool. Oh my and goodness. The tusks could be hearts. The tusks could be hearts. Okay, we got we got our work cut out with, for us, Eden. Let's let's finish coloring this a little bit. Or if you're done, you're done. You can be done. You're done? Yep. Well, okay. I'm not done, but we'll finish we'll it later. Up. Yeah, we'll finish it later. But look how cool it is, guys. You can draw it the first time. And I think we like our second one's even better, huh? Mm-hmm. So that one, those ones we can just throw away. They're kind of like our practice, huh? But we had to do that first. We couldn't have we couldn't have skipped that step. That was important. Okay, okay. we're we're running out of paper. I need new paper. Isn't it always fun to run out of paper? Yeah. That means we're drawing so much, we got to get new paper. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to use one of these, these to do mine. Okay. What, what are we drawing right now? Oh, the butterfly. Okay. You want to lead the way on this one, Eden? Or you want, um, we'll do it kind of together because you're I, so cool. I think I know how to draw it. Yeah. Eden's butterflies are always so beautiful. Okay. But let's, let's try to think of ways to do it with hearts. Um, you think you can think of some ways? Yeah. Okay. okay. I'll follow you, okay? Okay, one big heart up there, okay? To the head. Okay. Oh, this is looking pretty. I can already tell. Oh my goodness. Okay, are those the antenna? Mm -hmm. So can you guys see that okay? We got one one big heart. I'm gonna do mine dark like yours, even. It just looks so pretty. So we got one big heart for the head. And then the antenna, and Eden did heart-shaped antenna. That's pretty. Like that. Okay. Oh my goodness, you went so fast. Okay, I'll, I'll, let's see. So the body's kind of like a, is it like a teardrop? Yeah. Okay, let's see. And then. And then you can draw any patterns you want on the wings. Really? Mm-hmm, any patterns you want, but I'm going to draw hearts. Actually, I'm going to do spots. I like spots. Okay. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm going to do legs. Can I do like like two legs? Like it's like a butterfly sound on two legs. Yeah. <laughs> that looks so funny. Hi, I'm Mr. Butterfly. No, or Mrs. Butterfly. Look at Hi, guys. <laughs> yeah, that looks kind Is that kind of weird? Yeah. Yeah. Well. And look, it looks so droopy. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> There's the other legs. I don't, I'm that might be too many legs for a butterfly. Yeah, it's not an insect. <laughs> okay, he's not an insect. Oh, so what how what makes an insect an insect? It has six legs. Six legs. Hmm. You are so smart. This is a this is a spider butterfly. Ooh, Ugh. Creepy. I'll do spots too. I like the spots. I'm gonna, I'm gonna vary my spots. Let me make some big ones and some small ones. Oh my goodness. Let's see. And you can draw a flower with yours too. Oh, like it's land on a flower? Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. I'm going to draw a flower. Okay. Do it. I'm going to do it too. Let me just get. I need it. I'm going to do the stripes. I'm going to do my stripes kind of. I'm going to do lots of them. Like that. I'm going to do sunglasses on mine. Wait, what? I just, it just feels like the right thing to do. Ooh. some big sparkly ones and i'm gonna so when i do sunglasses i do a, a big shape like that and i do like a smaller shape inside so no eyes i guess i guess you don't well you don't see the eyes they're behind there i guess yeah that's why i said no eyes. oh no eyes yeah like that and then i'll do a little smile like this Boop. 
<laughs> okay. Oh, someone else is asking for a bear or an elephant. We've got a I guess we, we got a little bit of time, but I think we're almost done with these. Oh, Let's see. I just can't get up. It smells like lotion. It really smells like lotion. Oh my goodness. I want to try one of those markers. Too. Let's see. Me too. I can never going to get sick of this. Do you know what else I'll never get sick of? What? Encanto. Encanto. I'm never going to get sick of that movie. I love what does that one. one smell like? I can't tell. You tell me. Is it banana? Yeah, that's banana for mm. sure. That's definitely banana. <laughs> I'm doing little patterns on the. Let the me stripes. smell the, another one. Um, I'm going to the red one. I hope it smells like cherries. Or maybe it's strawberries. Oh, it smells like cherries. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I think I got my nose. Oh, that that's wonderful. Like oh, my goodness, Eden. That smells like cherries. And another one. Um. How about I'll try I'll this put little one. cheeks on my. I'm going to try this one. Those cheeks look like eyes almost. Huh. Oh well. You gonna try that one? Give it a try. Is that green. This one smells like lotion too, but a different kind of lotion. I think I got some on my nose. I did too. Oh, I oh, a lot. Ah! oh well. No. Oh don't my worry about it. It's okay. It's red. Oh, you got wow. like so much red and pink on your nose. It's okay. It's okay. It'll wash. It won't come off. Okay, we'll figure it out. They're washable. Okay, let's move on. You know, we do our next one. We oh, wanna... I was just trying to smell these markers. So I did. I did the flower. Oh. What's that one? This smells like blue raspberry. Oh my goodness, that smells like a snow cone. Blue raspberry snow cone. Yeah. It smells like blue raspberry. Do you have an orange marker? Um, there's one in here. Smell. Let me smell it too. Okay. And it smells orange. Oh man, that smells like tangerines. Oh, this one smells like blueberry. Oh, my oh that's so strong. Wow, I love that. Mm. Oh, yum. Okay. So okay. I just can't get over these. <laughs> that's so good, Eden. Oh, 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 this one smells like mint. Oh, oh you don't oh. like mint? Is it too strong? Yeah, way too strong. That would definitely smell like mint. Okay, okay let's do let's, more. Let's two do more okay, two more. Okay. And I'll finish my butterfly later. Yeah, we'll finish it later. Oh, chocolate! The brown smells like chocolate. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Hey, someone said that their friend has scented markers and that they love Encanto. Oh, my goodness. Encanto. We have all our, our friends are out there. They're our friends. They like all the things we love. Oh. Okay, they're I asking for lots of stuff. They're asking for a lion, a bear, and an elephant. So I, can't, do you, I can't tell this one. You can tell? It just smells nice. Okay, we got it. Let's hurry. So let's see. Um, the next one, let's see. Lion. Is there one that you want to draw, Eden? How about we do the lion? The lion? The lion? Okay. I'll start, oh, okay? Like so I'm going to start with orange, and I'm going to do a circle for shape for the mane. I want a heart for my mane. Okay. And I'm going to start with this. That color. color. I'm going to do okay. a heart mane. Because don't forget, this is a class for hearts. Yeah, I can't forget the heart part. Let's see. I'm How about you make, make that your head? That the head? Yeah. Just draw a big heart around it. Actually, I, I, have, a, I have another idea. I'm going to make a heart nose. Ooh, heart nose. Good idea. And then I'm going to do an upside down heart shape on top of that nose, like a triangle like that. For what? That's like the like the long part of their nose. And I'm gonna do eyes on top of it, kind of like my dog's eyes. Seriously. Like that. And I'm gonna make it looking to the side. Like that. Mine's just skin hard. Oh, Eden, that's cute. And then Mine probably looks like it just... No, it looks great. These are kind of hard to draw with when they get used because like they're not sharp anymore well no you can oh yeah you can push them up huh i'm gonna color my nose okay let's keep going let's see there's our heart nose and then i'm gonna do mouth i'm gonna do like a shape under oh i can do another upside oh, eden look i can just finish out my heart like this and it makes like an upside down heart for the mouth but i want this i want to do Oh, I like that. That's like a tongue sticking out. 
And then I'm going to do, it's okay. And then there's the head, another heart. And then I'm going to do the ears. Oh, I should have done hearts there. Oh, well. I'll do hearts. You can do hearts there. I'll do a little chin under there. Oh, someone says I'm going to draw a lioness. Good idea. Um, that's a that's a girl, a girl lion. Oh, I wish I draw the girl. You well, you 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 could draw the you kind of did because like the main, like the big furry part, you could just say this is head, and then the main you haven't drawn the main yet. Okay. So maybe just don't draw main. Okay. Because that's what's different so about. I'll probably make mine a little different and make mine hang eyelashes so that you know, Oh yeah, draw the eyelashes. And I'm gonna make the, my mane. I'm just gonna do lines like this for my mane. And you can also cut yours out too if you would like. Oh yeah, good idea. I'm gonna cut mine out when I'm done. Okay. But I'm probably not done. Ah, oh, I just lost my lid. Oh well, that's okay. I wanna make cheeks with this nose. Oh, and don't forget if you use these, your picture will smell. Oh, that's right. Yummy. I can't wait to smell. Oh my picture. goodness. I want to smell my picture. Oh. Did it even smell better on the paper? Yeah. It smells much better on the paper. Oh my goodness. I'm going to scribble all of these around it. I'm going... a, mine has a lot of feet going down down there. And then I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to scribble all of these colors around it so that my picture is smell. And the heart tail. There's my lion. Daddy, can I have the yellow? You want the yellow? Yeah. Do that. I'm gonna get just I want to get one more color. Yes, where's the pink? Do we have the pink colored pencil around here? Oh, you shoved them all over here. Oh, it's okay. Okay. Um, That's all right. Okay. It's all right. I'll use this one from. I just want to lightly color in. Sometimes I like to do like the marker on the bottom with the dark lines and then lightly color on top of it. Just because we for the main. That help us, I think, see what's going on. So, Josh, um, Rochelle says that she'll also be drawing cubs with it. Cubs? Oh, some lion cubs. Yeah, oh, that would be cool. Rochelle, you're so awesome. Thank you for all the good ideas. There oh. we go. Let's see. Let's draw one little cub. Oh, this mint mint smells so good. Let's see, how's the best way to draw the, the black cub? one? Kind of smells like mint too, but it kind of a different type of mint. Kind of a mint. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to use a heart for the cub. Oh, this chocolate! Mom's going to work with my cub. Oh, oh, bought me a little bit. That's okay. <sighs> it smells like Reese's Pieces. <laughs> that sounds wonderful. Oh my yeah, goodness! I want to draw these all the time. Chocolate. I want to eat this marker so bad. Oh my goodness. I just want to eat it. Please don't. Please don't. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, right. let's do one more. Let's see, we have 49. I think we have enough time to do even maybe two more if we hurry. So, Eden, these are great. Well, okay. Do you want to try a different one? Or you keep, you keep drawing. I'm going to go get some more paper, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay, be right back. We're running out of paper, but that's great. Okay, I got plenty more. Okay. Okay, let's do did the do let's do the elephant, you think? Oh, you know, I love all those colors. I, I think and the I purple did all. ears. Mm, my <laughs> picture smells like all of them. It's a fruit salad. That smells Except wonderful. for the chocolate ones and the mint. The chocolate covered fruit salad. You know, dad really likes oh chocolate covered fruit salad actually sounds really good. It sounds super good. Mm. Dad's a big fan of the juji fruit. Oh. Uh, gummies, but they used to be mint back in the day, and then they made them lime, which is it's okay, but I kind of like the mint, the fruit flavor sometimes. Oh, I nice. like lime. I like lime's good Lime's too. My fruit. Is that your favorite fruit? I well, know. I like limes and lemons. Okay. Yeah, well, I thought strawberries too. Well, I like they're all, strawberries. They're yeah, all good. Okay. okay, let's see. Oh, 51. We're at, we're at 51. So let's do the elephant, I think, right? Is that the next one? 
Let's see elephant. So I think for elephant, do you want to draw a pink this time? I feel like I've been using pink a lot. Um, You're doing okay? I feel tired. You feel tired? Do you want to take a, 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 a rest for this one? Yeah. I don't really like elephants. You know, so, okay, well, stay, stay here with me. Stay here with me. Stay yeah, with I'm me. just going to cut out. Yeah, you can, cut, you can start cutting yours out. I'll draw the elephant over here. Yeah, guys, drawing's hard work. I think sometimes people think that, like, if you're an artist, you just play all day long. And the truth is, some parts of your job, I guess you play, but I think like there's still a lot of work. You play with art. You play with art. There's still a lot of work. So for the for the elephant, I think I'm going to draw like a, a heart shape, but I'm not going to end it. I'm going to leave it open there. And then maybe a big U. Look at that. Boop. A big U. And then another smaller U inside of that. And then a heart shape inside of that. Okay, now there's like a lot uh, fast, but that's where I think the head for our, our elephant. Okay, oh yeah, you keep going. Do glue stick. Okay, so we're doing pr two projects at once here, guys. You can pick which project you want to be working on. Um, for this, for the eyes, I'm gonna do closed eyes. Sometimes I like to draw that, like the little U eyes. Um, something that you can remember when you're making art is think about repeated shapes and that means like we have a heart shape for the head and another heart shape right here in the nose we have a u shape in the nose and a u shape in the eyes so it kind of good idea so it kind of like keeps the drawing feeling like all the parts of the drawing are of the same family so i'm gonna do um i'm gonna do kind of like heart like ears for the, I mean, heart like shapes for the ears, kind of like a heart, but with an extra hump for the ears. And then the body, elephants have really big bodies. I'm trying to decide if I want to start it here or I want to start it up there. I think I'll start it up there. So a big, what did you say, rainbow shape, Eden? Is that what you'd call that? Yeah. Oh, Eden, you're cutting all of yours. That's so pretty. I love that flower. Oh, nice. Layla says, I'm drawing a scene, then adding hearts to make a hidden heart challenge. <gasps> Eden, we like games in our family, huh? Mm -hmm. I think anytime you can turn a drawing into a game, like a maze or a hidden heart challenge. Oh, you're right on it. You're right on it. That's perfect. So the legs, I'm just going to go mm -hmm, maybe uh, like, a, like a square shape like that. Draw it over here, all the way, almost to the end, and then just finish it with another square shape. And then I'm gonna draw the back leg back there, like another square shape. And then I'm gonna draw hmm, the other leg. I don't think I want it back there because I'm like, and it should actually be right here behind the trunk. I feel like that feels like where it's going. Right, Eden? Mm -hmm. Would you put the leg there or the leg there? Yeah. There. Okay, so our legs just poking out over there. And then we'll put the, that's like the other part of the body. So there's an elephant, and then we're going to do a tail and another repeated shape, a little heart shape right there for a tail, maybe even like three parts on it, maybe to make it kind of like the ears, more like it. And then we can do the repeated shape again. I like drawing elephant toenails like little M's. Like that. Cute. And then, We'll color it in a little bit, and I'm going to make this one um, wisteria colored. Wisteria. It's like a light purple, I think. Okay, does anyone have any questions? We're getting close to the time here. Um, I hope you've had fun with us. We've had fun. We've had fun, Eden. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hope you guys can see that, that uh, I think making art is all about experimenting and play that we're just playing around here and figuring stuff out and not really worrying if we have the right answer right away. We're just trying to come up with answers, right? And then if we were gonna, like when we're working at Michael's, what's so cool and it's like the best part of my job is that we get to play around like this for a little while. And then we get to say, okay, now it's time to make, um, 
make the stuff, what are we going to use? And then we can say, you know what, I really like the way we made that elephant with the heart-shaped head. Um, and we can use it. Or if we say, you know what, that heart-shaped head really wasn't kind of what we were going for, then we don't have to use it. And we can just move on to something else. But it was fun to make it. Let's see. Um, I love drawing. Thank you. We had fun. Oh, you guys are great. I'm glad you did. We're going to keep these for a long time. You covering your tail. I like that I left the ear white there. Isn't that kind of cool? I forgot my name on my course. So I'm going to do the name. You do the and name. You also. You I don't think you, I, you did your name. Did I do the name? I kind of want to. Let me do one more quick thing with mine. I mean, how much time do we have? 57. Um, oh, my goodness. Look at this. This this person, Rochelle said in the morning, I drew my own island and called it Scented Island oh, yeah. with all her scented markers. Oh, that that's a great cool. idea. I'm going to do this. This is kind of weird. Look at this. I like the white ear. So I'm going to put a paper on top, trace the shape of my ear, and cut it out with my grown up scissors. I'm using kid scissors. Yeah. Eden's using kids scissors. Those are safer for her. Quickly, are we out of time? 57. We have some time. Watch this, guys. I'm going to cut out my white ear. Shape. Needs to be a little smaller. Almost got it. Almost got it. We're gonna hurry. Uh, see, and then he has a white ear again. Doesn't that kind of cool? I can make it a little bit better. But anyways, um, trying to think. What, what one more thing we could draw, or what one thing we could say? We have a little more time. I'm just so glad we got to draw with you guys and keep drawing. Don't stop, right, Eden? Mm-hmm. Never stop drawing. Yep. And some days you'll have drawings that don't look good, huh? Mm-hmm. And you'll feel sad, right? Yeah. But then you draw the next day, right? Mm -hmm. It's okay. Look at that. Okay. Um, well, thank you guys for, for being here with us. And uh, we will catch you guys next time. Um, can you turn to our faces again? Yeah. Um, thanks so much for drawing with us. And we will, uh, we want to do another one of these classes. Let us know what you guys thought. And we're going to do some more classes with Eden. So can you, can you wave goodbye, Eden? Bye. Let's tell them bye. Okay. See you guys. Bye-bye. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.